Miss Fincham is a really great teacher because um, she's loving and she encourages us to do our best. And um, one of the things I like is from her is because like she'll never give up. Like she's generous, she's kind, she's loving. Um, Miss Fincham is a great teacher because she does a lot of after school things and clubs at lunch and she makes sure that every student is special in her mind and she makes sure that um, every student is treated the way that um, they're supposed to be treated. Ms. Fincham is a great teacher because she never gives up on us. She always makes a promise, like if she promises something, she'll do it. She's really loving. She always she always makes everything fun. She always has a story to help us and she she's just a really good teacher. Miss Fincham doesn't just think about like one person. She thinks about like everybody in her mind because she thinks everybody's important. This is really exciting stuff today because we've been doing multiplication and division in our classroom for a couple of weeks now, but never before have you seen a problem like this with such big factors in them. So I'm giving you three multiplication problems today. Five times three, easy, right? But then look, look what happened. Five times 30, five times 300. You guys are going to be multiplying numbers in the hundreds today. I hope that my students would describe me as a teacher who listens to everyone's ideas. Not as an expert, but as a person who facilitates thinking in the classroom and really promotes collaboration and creativity. I hope that my kids would say, you know what, our teacher wants to hear what we have to say. She thinks that what we have to say is important, she thinks we're smart, and she believes that we can teach each other just as much as she can teach us. How many tens is that? Fifteen. Fifteen tens. Oh, so that means that maybe the next one will have one, five, Zero. You think there's going to be two zeros? Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. Okay. Five, two, three. I think it could be because all of them are um, adding zero, so I'm thinking that because this one has to be like that, maybe the next one has to have a zero. Oh, okay. And the last one we're dealing with hundreds, right? Hmm, that's going to be interesting to see what happens. So do you have a plan for solving? I think we're going to do the re repeated addition. The repeated addition again? No. Yeah. Oh, wait, maybe 300, 600, 900, 900, 1,000, 1,000, Oh, are you skip counting? That's another so strategy. Can, so we can make we, we can like skip counting. Yeah, does your group agree on that strategy? Okay, well let's do it and see how it, how it turns out. I'm excited to know. I can't imagine a more rewarding profession. I can't imagine a place for me or in any other job or career where I could come to work each day and feel like I have an impact upon the future of our nation through the children that I teach. I know that teaching fourth grade is, is more than about just teaching multiplication and division or identifying the plot events in a story but it's about teaching children to go out into our society and be collaborative problem solvers who can think creatively, who can use their resources and can share their thoughts with others. And so by working with kids each day and teaching them those skills and giving them the confidence that they need um, in those areas, I'm preparing them for school later on, but also for the real world. And so I have a really great chance in my job and opportunity to impact directly my own community and our, and our country.